In this problem, we're asked to simplify this massive expression and write our answer with only negative exponents. So let's take a look at the numerator and the denominator carefully to see if we can rearrange it first to make life a little bit better for us. And here we do see that there's a three and a six on the top, and there are two terms with x's in them, there's two terms with y's in them, and similarly, there's two terms with z's in them. So we could certainly rewrite the numerator to rearrange it to have the terms be next to each other. For the denominator, we see that there's nothing in common here that could be rearranged. However, we do have a product raised to a power. So we could apply this power to both of these terms. Doing that, we get three times the six next to each other, the x's next to each other, so is the y's, and so are the z's. For the denominator, notice that the nine did not get a power of negative three because it is outside the parentheses. Anything that's on the inside is what we apply the power of negative three to. And at the same time, this negative three that's on the outside, we're going to deal with it at the very, very, very end. Three times six will simplify to give us 18. X to the negative two times X to the negative six will give us X to the negative eight by the product rule. The bases are same and we're multiplying, so we add the exponents. Negative two plus negative six is negative eight. Y to the fifth times Y to the negative two, we're going to use the product rule again. Five plus the negative two is going to give us a three. Similarly for z's, we, we can use the product rule again and add the exponents, but three plus a negative three is just zero. For the denominator, the nine comes along. X squared raised to the negative three simplifies to X to the negative six. Y to the negative two raised to the negative three by the power rule, we multiply the two of those numbers and get Y to the sixth. At this stage, we can use the quotient rule because no other simplification can be done. 18 divided by nine is simply two. Since the bases are same here and we're dividing, top power minus bottom power is going to give us x raised to the negative eight minus negative six. Again, please make sure you use parentheses around negatives to make sure you don't make any mistakes. For the y's, it would be top power minus bottom power, y to the three minus six. There are no z's in the denominator, so z to the zero just comes along. This can be simplified further as two. Negative times a negative makes it a positive, so we get negative eight plus six. Three minus six gives us a negative three for the power of y. And a variable raised to the zeroth power is one. All of this is still being raised to the negative three exponent. Now this can be cleaned up further. Negative eight plus six gives us a two. So this expression simplifies to two times one, which is two, x to the negative two times y to the negative three, all raised to the negative third power. Now since there's nothing else that can be simplified inside the parentheses, and we've gotten rid of all of this mess, we can just apply the product to a power rule to all three of these terms. So we get two to the negative third power, x to the negative two raised to the negative third power, and y to the negative third power raised to another negative third. For the x and the y terms, we can apply the power rule and multiply the two powers together. Negative two times negative three will give us a six, negative three times negative three will give us a nine. Now we can see that there's no other rules that can be used to simplify this further. So we look at our instructions. We want only negative exponents. Well, two to the negative three already has a negative exponent, so we're not going to apply anything else to this. X to the six and Y to the ninth, we can move to the denominator and make the powers negative. We can do this by using the negative power rule, which states that if we move these two terms from the top to the bottom, the sign on the exponents have to flip. So if it's a positive, it must become negative. Here we have a positive, it becomes negative as well. 
And with this, we have given our answer with only negative exponents.